Welcome to Logical Ayurveda. Today's topic is Vipadika. We regret the long gap in uploading videos for Logical Ayurveda due to our busy clinical schedule. From now on, you are bringing skin diseases serious. We will take one skin disease and deep dive deep in detail to give you the clinic clinical clarity about the skin disease. So one such topic today is Vipadika. Vipadikam Pani Pada Sputanam Tevra Vedana is what is told in Ayurveda. People also compare Vipadika to Pamo Planta Suriasis in contemporary science. I kindly ask you not to correlate this disease with anything rather than see this disease as an unique Amsamsha Kalpana of Doshas causing the Vyadi because no amount of steroid creams like Betamethasone, Betnovid creams, Salicylic Acid, Moisturizing creams or <coughs> internal antihistamines and steroids can give relief in Vipadika like Ayurveda do. Nothing can cure chronic Vipadika as the result given by Ayurveda. Skin disease is a speciality arena of Ayurveda doctors or undefeated foot of Ayurveda. I say this after studying all other sciences and discussing with them and giving due respect to all of them. So, when we give our knowledge about skin disease, we want your unwavering focus, extreme concentration and undivided attention because you can cure thousands of ailing patients by logically applying this dosha based treatment. So let us take example of three patients, patient A, patient B, patient C who come with Vaipadika but with the different complaints, how we vandal all of them. So let us have a pictorial representation of all the three patients. Patient A comes to you with the complaints of plain cracked food. He, he tells that he has cracked food, he has plain cracked food. You ask whether itching is associated with it. He says very mild itching is associated on and off. It's not very frequent. You ask if bleeding is there. He says no. You ask if pain is there on touch or pain on walking. He says no. You you ask him whether any kind of pus discharge is there from the cracked food side. He tells no. You ask him if there is exfoliation, the skin is coming out in layers etc. While and, uh, he says absolutely no. So you ask him any particular type of food or in any particular type of season it increases. He says it increases in the winter. So you ask him where does he come from. He asks he comes from a mostly cold place like Bangalore. So to sum it all up, the patient A has plain cracked food. He, he has mild itching, very very mildly on such some occasions. He has no bleeding, no pain whatsoever, no pus discharge from the cracked food side. He has no exfoliation like psoriasis etc. He tells that when dryness increases in winter, his, his vyadi get, is getting increased. So this is uh, patient A. Now patient B comes to you. He tells the same complaint. He, he has cracked food. But he tells you ask him pain is there he tells yes there is severe pain you ask him itching is there yes there is itching associated uh, you ask him in which particular season or which due to which particular food it increases he tells uh, it increases in summer season you ask him whether the burning sensation is there he tells yes you ask him whether pimples are uh, th there is follicles that is coming uh, near the cracked food side and it has uh, <coughs> exudations etc he tells yes so to sum it all up Patient B has cracked food, he has pain and he has a uh, good amount of itching and it increases in summer and around the uh, expo around the cracked food side there are, there are pimples that are present. So now patient C comes to your clinic. He tells that I have cracked food, I have went to multiple clinics all over the city, I have tried different types of treatment and it is not coming down. I have severe pain and severe bleeding and severe itching is also present and exfoliation is also present their skin is coming out in layers and layers he is telling it is present since very long time it is present since three years and i've tried all different types of treatment so you're asking him in which particular season or when which particular du during taking which particular food it is increasing he tells it is irrespective of any season irrespective of any food be it summer or winter <coughs> There is always increase in the cracking of the foot and there is always pain that is being present, burning sensation that is present, severe itching, severe bleeding, etc, etc. It's always present. So that is patient C. 
so far you would have understood what we are trying to do so let us go back to the patient a what kind of treatment options are there for patient a i told you patient a comes with a plain cracked foot he has mild itching he has no bleeding or pain whatsoever he has no pus discharge no exfoliation and increases in winter so it increases in winter so definitely there should be some amount of ruksha associated with increases in winter definitely it is kapha vada there is mild itching due to the ruksha which is reducing an application of any moisturizer etc so there is no bleeding no burning sensation no pain so absolutely which rules out the involvement of any of pitta in it so for this so before we go into kapha vada kapha pitta <coughs> vada pitta pitta vada we request you to see our logical ayurveda video which explains in detail about the amshamsha kalpana of all the doshas i am not here to repeat this again please go back and watch those videos if you do not understand the pathology pathophysiology of how kapha vada is uh, kapha vada vada pitta and pitta vada are formed now i'll only discuss the treatment option so far you would have understood what we are trying to do so let us go back to the patient a this is a uh, patient a is uh, having a kapha vata ji vyadi so kapha is also sheetha and vata is also sheetha so ushna virya dravyas will reduce both vata and kapha so basically vipadika is ruksha vyadi so snigdha should be given so the treatment should be ushna snigdha both internally and externally so what are the ushna snigdha dravyas which are available for ex- internal intake that we can give indukanta gritam which is ushna and snigdha there is also indukanta gritam capsules in different companies that are available like kerala ayurveda you can give that we can choose guggulu tiktakam gritam it is also an excellent option both indukanta gritam and guggulu tiktakam gritam are ushna very good ushna and snigdha so we can also choose panchanimbadi and gandaka rasayanam which is kapha and nature but only one problem with panchanimbadi and gandaka rasayanam is a little bit ruksha so we can add uh, snigdha dravyas as anupana or saha aushadis like for example you can add uh, panchanimbadi panchan you, you, you can uh, ask the patient to take panchanimbadi gulika or panchanimbadi churna along with the milk like that so you can add it with the snigdha dravyas so only one problem while giving indukanta gritam guggulu tikta gritam if the patient is having lit, if little bit of pitta increased in his body then this treatment will be definitely help for him so if you doubt there is any kind of mild pitta associated always give uh, along with the indukanta gritam or guggulu tikta gritam be prepared to give avipatti churnam along with it so that the excess pitta will go out of the body so for internal options we have indukanta gritam and guggulu tikta gritam panchanimbadi guliga gandaka rasayanam avipati churnam and lot of other options basically the treatment should be ushna in nature which reduces both kapha and vata it should be snigdha in nature so what is for external application in kapha vata patient there is an external uh, excellent external application called rasothamadi lepam it contains parada jeeraka haridra <coughs> krishna jeeraka gandaka manashila etc and which is uh, deteriorated in cow's ghee so it is excellent ushna snigdha dravyas when applied externally it cures kapha vata ja cracked feet very nicely so uh, uh, and another one option is jatyadi thailam or jatyadi gritam which is also excellent in reducing this uh, cracked foot so the before before the patient applies any form of ointment you ask the patient uh, to uh, keep the <coughs> leg in hot water which is mix it with uh, let mix a little bit of salt along with the hot water keep the foot in that hot water for 5 minutes and then apply the ointment because the foot becomes soft and after that application of ointment gives good results hot water along with the salt itself is ushna and snigdha so it should be definitely kapha vata hara and rasothamadi lepam or jatyadi thailam is an excellent choice for external application in kapha vata ja patients now when coming to pitta vata lakshanas there are lakshanas of uh, burning sensation itching exfoliation of the skin uh, that is skin is coming out in layers and there is bleeding in the cracked foot and the pain in the cracked area and the patient comes from a hot area like chennai so while treating this pitta vata cases we have to uh, grossly categorize patients into two categories one is patients having all the symptoms whether they belong to nirama stage or ama stage how to identify ama in the patients so now we are first step is you are uh, finding the vipadika next step is finding the dosha and third step is finding whether ama is not associated with it so how to identify ama 
యాజ్ అ క్లాసికల్ లక్షణాస్ గోస్ శ్రోతరోదబుల భ్రంశ గ్రౌర అనిల మూడత నిష్టీవ మల సంగ అరుచి ఎక్సెట్రా ఆల్ దోస్ లక్షణాస్ ఆర్ దేర్ బట్ ప్రాక్టికల్లీ హౌ టు ఐడెంటిఫై అమ్మ యాజ్ ద పేషెంట్ టు షో ఇస్ టంగ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కోటెడ్ ఆర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ పింకిష్ ఫైండ్ దట్ యాజ్ దెమ్ అబౌట్ దర్ డైజెషన్ మెనీ పీపుల్ లై అబౌట్ దర్ డైజెషన్ దట్ హీ ఈస్ హంగ్రీ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ టైమ్ అట్ ప్రా ఫుడ్ హీ హ్యావింగ్ ప్రాపర్ టైమ్లీ ఫుడ్ ఎక్సెట్రా బట్ యాజ్ దెమ్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ టూ మచ్ టైర్డ్ ఆఫ్టర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫుడ్ దే ఆర్ ఫీలింగ్ లైక్ they have to lie down at the end of having every meal breakfast lunch and dinner after having food they feel like sleeping that indicates a classic presence of ama ask if their bowel movements are irregular if they are constipated eventually or uh, they have frequent bowels like uh, immediately after food they have to go to uh, toilet etc so all these all these lakshanas indicate the presence of ama in the body so for pittavata patients you have to first identify whether he is ama Uh, having ama lakshanas or nirama lakshanas if he is not having any of these ama lakshanas then the aushadi that we can choose can be guru we can choose like maha tiktakam kashayam it contains 50 percent of ama like it is a rasayana and is a little guru to digest we can choose maha tiktakam kashayam we can choose saribadi asavam kamaduga and with mautika kamadugras with mautika because maha tiktakam saribadi asavam the combination maha tiktakam kashayam and saribadi asavam is uh, very popular among our side of treatment Uh, so this gives beautiful result in the cracked food if they if they are having ama lakshanas then you should go for deepana pachana pratyas in pitta you do not in kapha vata while giving treatment for kapha vata you do not have to worry much about ama because all the all the dravyas which we give in kapha vata will be little bit ama pachana because they are little ushna but when it comes to pitta when the patient is having ama there are very little drugs to choose because in paitika ama you have to give tikta pachana you have to give tikta pachana dravyas like gulichadi kashayam and vasa gulichadi kashayam kaishara gugulu and you can choose arishtas like nimbamrata asavam which is doing tikta pachana and it is pitta ara as well i can and you can add avipati churnam to clear the ama to remove the mala sangha etc and for external application you can choose shatatavata uh, krita for external application or yamaka sneha or eshtimadu taila etc you can you can choose uh, of the pitahara dravyas which are shita snigdha in nature and anything you you can give it for external application so the important thing here is to identify whether it is the patient is ha- having ama or in nirama stage if they are having ama you have to give tikta pachana dravyas like gulicha dikasha vasa gulicha dikasha and arishta you can choose nimbamrita asam and churna avipati churna etc but when the patient is having uh, and is not having ama you can choose guru dravyas like mahatikta kashayam saribadi asam ushira asava chandana asava kaishara gulu uh, and uh, external application can be shatatavata krita or emaka sneha or any of the pitahara dravyas like eshtimo take kevala vata ja manifestation how how extreme kevala vata cases chronic cases how should we treat vaipadika so in first stage kapha vata that is both kapha and vata is of shita virya so we have to give ushna snigdha as a treatment <coughs> in second case we have to give uh, both pitta and vata manifestation is there so we have to give a treatment which is shita and snigdha we have discussed like maha tikta kridam and all those stuff so in last case in kevala vata the vata will be jumping from vata has a nature vata is like a monkey it will jump from one tree to another tree similarly in kevala vata cases in summer season also the vaipadika the problem of cracking and pain will increase in winter season also will increase because vata is predominantly ruksha guna so ruksha also increases in grishma and ruksha also increases in winter season so whenever there is dryness there will be always increase in vaipadika there will be increase in exfoliation and there will be increase in the cracking and there will be increase in the pain so how to handle this we have to give a treatment that is both ushna and snigdha in nature so the predominantly for keval vata vaipadika it will be always for chronic patients sir i have this problem of uh, cracking foot since 7 years i have this problem of cracking foot since 8 years so all that being said even in kevala vata the pitta should not be ignored most of the times what i treat uh, when i treat patients they will ha- they will be having little ushna in the back which is also be running it will be predominantly tridoshaja so if we give too much of ushna medicines then also it, the condition will get increased 
So most of the cases, the prescription will be Ushna and Stigda. By that case, internally, either Indukandam Gridham or Gugulu Tikta Gridham can be given. If you, uh, if you think that the patient is off Pitta Prakriti or Pitta Nature or lives in hot season, in hot climate, in hot Pradeshas, etc., you can miss Guluchadi Kashayam along with Indukandam Gridham or Guluchadi Kashaya along with Gugulu Tikta Gridham. If patient palatability is a question, you can also go for Guluchari Kashayam tablet and Indukantam Gritham capsule or Google Tiktak Gritham capsule. You can add both of that and give this to the patient for a long period of time, for 3 months or 6 months as a treatment. So for external application, if you can always in Kevalavada stage, Jeevantiyadi Yamakam is the best choice of the prescription. Jeevantiyadi Yamakam works wonders in such cases, in cracked food which is there for chronic. If exfoliation is also present along with the cracking, then you can mix Ayyapala Keratelam along with Jeevantiyadi Gritham. So, it also reduces the, the, this combination reduces the itching, gives more snigdata, uh, reduces the cracks. So, this is one of the successful uh, combination in the clinical practice. You can mix Ayyapala Keratelam along with the Jeevantiyadi Gritham, where psoriasis is present, where along with the cracked food, exfoliation is more. In such cases, you can proceed. You can give Jeevantiyadi Gritham along with the Ayyapala Keratelam. So, internally, we can give Panchatikta Gritha Gukulu, that is Ushna Snigdha, it reduces. Uh, if the patient ha does not have Agni to digest Gukli Tikta Gritham or Indukandam Gritham, we can you always go for Nimba Amritaswa. It is little Snigdha. Nimba Amritaswa can be initially given. And later we can shift to Gritha. If the patient is also having Pitta along with them, you can choose Mahatiktakam along with Nimba Amritaswa. Mahatikta Kashayam along with the Nimba Amritasam, that combinations can be given. For external applications, also depending upon the conditions, um, you can also choose Jatyadi Gritha or Jatyadi Zaila and we can apply externally Rasotamadi Lepa as well. So to sum it all up, if a Kevalavada condition, the diseases increases both in winter season and summer season, the disease is chronic. So in such diseases, we have to treat, uh, basically we have to treat Vata. So we have to give Ushna and Snigdha. The prescription should contain Sneha, internally and externally, either Gritha or Thaila. So such kind of prescription should be chosen. Uh, it's not necessarily that you have to choose only Gritha. You can also choose like the Dhanvantram 101 uh, fortified drops Thaila or you can also choose Gandhatelam etc. Depending on the condition, you can choose whatever medicine that is Ushna and Snigdha in nature. So for external application, we can use, choose Jeevantiyadi Gritham, Jatiyadi Thaila, Jatiyadi Gritham, Rasotamadi Lepa etc. Uh, if exfoliation is present, you can uh, add Ayyapala Keratelam along with the Jeevantiyadi Gritha as a combination. Uh.